Hi guys, and welcome to this week's video from Bite Size Excel. Today's video is a short video where we're going to look at the basics of the substitute function. And it's similar to the replace function, which we looked at last week. Substitute is a function that can be used to replace certain parts of your text within a cell. And it can be used as an alternative to your find and replace command. And the way this function is set up is you type in your substitute. Text is a cell where you want to replace text in. Old text is the old text you want to replace. New text is what you want to replace it with. And the fourth parameter is an optional parameter, which is your instant num instance number, which is essentially the value within a cell that you want to change, whether it's the first one, the second one, third one, and so on. So using this day one, week one, month one as an example, we're going to look to replace the first instance, so day one, so it instead says day two. So we type in substitute. We select the cell where we want to change our text, then it's comma. Our old text is one, and we put it inside our inverted commas. Then we want to replace that with a two. And we want the first instance because we want to change the first one that appears within the cell. Close your brackets. And as you can see, now it says day two, week one, month one. If you instead want to change week one to week two, what we would do is we would change this instance number to a two. And you can see here, day one, week two, and month one. Going again, if you want to change the month, you would go to the third instance, day one, week one, month two. If you leave out this last parameter, this instance number, it will change every time this occurs within the cell. So if we copy our formula again into this last one, but take out the last parameter, so we just have our cell that we're pointing to, one and a two, and hit enter. You then have day two, week two, month two. As you can see, it's changed them all. Now in one of our next videos, we're gonna take a look at both replace and substitute and how you can nest them together to do several substitutions at the same time. However, this video has just been a very brief introduction to how you set up your substitute function. If you've got any particular questions, as always, please do leave me a comment. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.